Hello, welcome back. My name is Chris Norman here with another episode as we talk about managed colonies. And obviously, if you're watching this, you're probably in the United States. And here uh, in the United States, we have two different types of colonies. Uh, one is a feral colony and one is a managed colony. Now, obviously, as the word suggests, a managed colony is managed by a human being. Now, this is yourself or maybe as you're in entering this field, you soon will be managing a colonies. A feral colony, which you would see maybe in a tree cavity or maybe even in the attic at times, uh, hopefully not, uh, all feral colonies come from a managed colony. And in the future videos, I'll talk about this, but at a certain point, a managed colony will split like a cell, a t one becoming two, and that swarm will leave and establish itself as a feral colony. So in the United States, honeybees are not native here. Uh, so all uh, feral colonies or ones you see in, in the wild actually come from a managed colony. Now in other countries uh, like Africa, different places like that, um, wild colonies are uh, normal. So they're going to have uh, been established there for a long time and have, did not originate from a managed colony. So here we have an example of what a managed colony is, uh, what a human being, a beekeeper, uh, would be managing. Now there's different types of designs. You probably look online. Uh, there's Langstroth design. There's high, high. There's so many different types of types of, uh, of of frames and boxes. But this is the most common, a Langstroth design. Now here we have a telescoping lid. Uh, hobbyists typically have telescoping lids. Uh, commercial operations have migratory lids, and those are basically flat pieces of wood that have a stain on them, so you can actually uh, pack on multiple boxes on top of a pallet. But if you have it in your backyard, this is probably something you're gonna be familiar with because it actually keeps longer. Um, and we seem to have more of a, a better uh, lifespan when it comes to using a telescoping lid uh, like this. All telescoping lids are suggested to have an inner cover, which gives a nice breather up top. This happens to be a 10 frame uh, hive. And obviously a frame, in this case, in the brood nest, uh, is typically a, a larger than this design they're going to make their comb from here and actually draw it out. You probably have seen videos or whatnot or pictures of that. Um, at the start of a brood comb, and a brood comb means that something that obviously babies are in, right? So either it's an egg or a larva, a pre-pupa or pupa, they're going to be uh, in this type of uh, comb. It starts out about white in color, and the, the brood comb actually, uh, over time, changed from a white to a brown to a dark color. Um, and that, again, is uh, typical in, in a hive. The way it's constructed normally is on the outside is the resources. So on the outside of the colony will always be honey and pollen. As you get closer, you're going to have more brood, uh, brood comb. Again, the comb specifically for uh, the bees. You're going to have young bees on there. Again, in the future video, we'll talk more in depth about inspections and how to really identify that. But just to know, resource, resources are at the, the far edge and in the center are brood combs. And again, typically you have some honey or pollen around there. Inside our, our design here, we typically have uh, kind of propolis grooves. And so, it, again, you can either buy that from us or if you do have your own box, we do suggest actually uh, taking a groove and actually cutting out grooves inside of that. Research shows that propolis actually increases the health benefit of the honeybee, which also increases the longevity and survivability. So uh, we do have some articles online on our website you can check out to get more information about those studies that were done. So that's a simple term on what, what a managed colony is. And so again, in future videos, we'll talk more in depth about each and every piece, why you should have it, why you should not have it, what's a quid excluder, a slated board, uh, all these things. And so at this point, uh, we appreciate your, you following us and be interested in beekeeping. So happy beekeeping.